Few of those who know what trouble the Earth is in really expected to hear about it on the news before the Earth snitched on itself in some terrible way. But alas, the world woke up to the reality of a magnetic excursion on this planet. The Le Champ event between 40 and 50,000 years ago was a global environmental disaster, and it wiped out the Neanderthal and other megafauna. It was a bombshell story covered across the world yesterday, literally into every corner, and it was based on a paper in the number two natural science journal on Earth, the journal Science, a titanic affirmation from a consortium of huge names in the field, including many that should be familiar to observers. It is a shame that such a story didn't break in 2019 when the number one geophysical journal in the world declared the same and did so for the last such event about 12 or 13,000 years ago, with identification of the lesser events in between as well. The number one natural science journal in the world has numerous articles on the environmental disaster of magnetic excursions going back nearly 50 years. You can find these papers across the decades and the top rated journals in this field. Here's why this matters and why we've been discussing this for the last decade with serious concern. This is an oversimplified chart for the sole purpose of simplicity and showing the recurrence and devastation of these events. Every 12 to 13,000 years, we get this magnetic excursion. There are serious climate events accompanying it and mid-level extinction events, not like a huge asteroid destroys the biosphere, but still pretty devastating. We're pretty much due for another event now, and with a few disagreeing scientists saying Gothenburg was actually 13,000 years ago, maybe we're close to being overdue. The devastation of these events is partly because it's much more than just a climate chaos event. But during these magnetic excursions where the poles are moving around and the strength of our magnetic field is fading at the planetary scale, the shield against the sun, supernova, gamma rays, and more begins to fade to minimum and allows dangerous levels of cosmic energy to reach the lower atmosphere and even the mantle, which can affect silica-rich magma viscosity. We're not only due for the next event, but it's already begun. It started slowly in the 1800s after millennia of stability, and we have seen accelerated field loss with the last accelerations in 2015 and 2017, not reported to the world until 2020 and 2021. We are due for the next extinction level environmental disaster, and the exact signs we're expecting to see are being seen. It's already begun. Some questions will be answerable in time, but most of your other ones can be answered now in the next disaster playlist, now found below our daily updates at suspiciousobservers.org. Questions not answered there are likely covered in the 40-part series and movie that came before it. That's below in the middle. It is not hard to find people calling this a fake fear. It's not hard to find people calling this a doomsday cult topic. I disagree with that especially since that cult would include scientists from NASA, the European Space Agency, professors from dozens of universities, and the top geophysical and overall science journals in the world. This is real. It's happening now. It's affecting people, too. And we've got a lot of answers starting at suspiciousobservers.org. Your mind is your weapon. I'll see you in the morning for the daily update. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.